everybody and welcome to day 10 of our prayer week, no, Lent prayer. Good evening everybody and welcome to day 10 of our Lent prayer. Just to remind you we are standing together in prayer at this time every evening at nine o'clock. Apart from on Sundays we are gathering together online on Facebook and on YouTube to pray together for various different items that the Lord has put upon our hearts. This evening it is my privilege and honour to be leading us in prayer for our friends. I'd like us to read a scripture together, two scriptures in fact, as we begin to think about that this evening. Proverbs 27 verse 9 says, Perfume and incense bring joy to the heart and the pleasantness of a friend springs from their heartfelt advice. And John chapter 15 says this. Greater love has no one than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. You are my friends if you do what I command. I no longer call you servants because a servant does not know his master's business. Instead, I have called you friends. For everything that I learned from my father, I have made known to you. You did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you so that you might go and bear fruit, fruit that will last. And so that whatever you ask in my name, the father will give you. Jesus himself calls us those who follow him, his friends. And that's a great encouragement to me this evening, as I hope it is to you. I'd like us to begin by singing a song of worship before we spend a moment bringing our friends to the Lord. Open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Open the eyes of my heart, I want to see you, I want to see you. Open the eyes of my heart, Lord, open the eyes of my heart, I want to see you. I want to see you, see you high and lifted up, shining in the light of your glory, pour out your power and love. bring to you this evening those who would consider our friends particularly those who are our close friends perhaps our friends who don't yet know you as Lord and Saviour for whom our hearts ache that they might know you we intercede uh, this evening that means we bring them into your presence Imagine your friend on one hand and Christ on the other and you are interceding for them. You're bringing those two parts together. Lord, I lift my friends who don't yet know you as Lord and Saviour. I pray for my friends who I play football with. And I ask you, Lord Jesus, to give us conversations that would uplift your name and bring people to a place of accepting your gospel. If you have a friend who you'd like to remember in prayer before the Lord, why don't you type that name into the chat bar? Just a first name.
And so we're going to pray over them and sing over them actually. Open the eyes of their hearts, Lord. Lord, let them see you. And imagine in your mind's eye them bowing the knee before Jesus. Imagine them giving their lives to Jesus. Lord, it would break. Lord, it would just break our hearts if we get to a place where people don't know you as Lord and Saviour and they pass away. Lord, help us to see as you see. We see. Open the eyes of their hearts, Lord. Open the eyes of their hearts, Lord, let them see. Father God, in the stillness of this moment, we bring to you those for whom our hearts ache. We bring to you those who may seem a long way off, but we're reminded of the story that when the lost son was a long way off, you ran toward him the first sign of repentance you run toward your lost ones and we pray this evening that you would run towards those whom we bring into your presence in Jesus name Amen over these last few weeks or so we've got a little better and quite good I guess at um, Chat, chatting in the forum uh, and typing online as to our needs and our requests and I wonder if there's a friend who you know um, who right now needs a special touch from God. It might be that they're already a Christian but they're, they're going through some difficulties and they need God's spirit to see them through. They need a special touch from God to enable them to get through the difficulties which they're currently Facing, I wonder whether I could lead us in prayer for those people just now and whether you would lift them up. You could sit at home and you can pray at home out loud or in your head or typing your prayers. You see, God sees our prayers and sees what we type on Facebook and on YouTube. So I want us to I want to lead us in prayer for our friends who are struggling just now, that we might be the hands and the feet of Jesus to those. Let's pray. Lord, we lift up to you this evening those who are struggling. Those whom life is difficult for. Those who perhaps are in fear. Those who have maybe lost loved ones those who are struggling with lots of responsibilities, with work and family. We bring to you those who are isolated and lonely. 
Lord, would you right now, by the power of your Holy Spirit, bring to mind friends who need a touch of your Spirit working today? We all do. But Lord, there are times and moments when a phone call from a friend can mean so much. Would you bring to mind right now, in Jesus' name, those whom we should contact? Perhaps there's a friend who you haven't spoken to for some time. Perhaps it's a friend who doesn't live locally anymore. Or perhaps you've moved. And there's a friend that's just being brought to your mind now. I would encourage you to grab your phone. Give them a text. Send an email. Or if it's not too late, give them an actual phone call. the experience last week of somebody really needing a touch of God's spirit and I was just going about my day and that person kept cropping up in my mind so I phoned them and they said I'm so thankful that you phoned I really needed to hear from you today if God is bringing someone to mind don't delay but speak to them Lord, we pray for our work colleagues who we might consider our friends. And we ask you to give us opportunity to share the good news of Christ with them when it's appropriate to do so. And Lord, we bring to you what the Bible would term, term our enemies. Because scripture says that um, Good, good people would pray for, any people would pray for their, for their friends, but it would take a special sort of person to pray for their enemies. So Lord, we pray for our enemies this evening. We pray that you will bring life and light and hope and justice. In Jesus' name. Amen. There's a blessing that we sing each morning um, when we gather together as a family for for our prayer time, um, which we do pretty much most mornings. Um, it's a Celtic blessing, and I'd just like to sing it uh, to close our time together this evening. May the peace of the Lord Christ go with you, wherever he may send you. May he guide you through the wilderness, protect you through the storm, May he bring you home rejoicing at the wonder he has shown you. May he bring you home rejoicing once again into our doors. Amen. Please do remember to join us for church tomorrow at 10.30 on Facebook and YouTube. And then tomorrow evening for prayer via Zoom, our first online prayer meeting at 6 o'clock. If you haven't got the Zoom link for that, do let us know, ministers at darlingtonbaptist.org, and we can connect you to come and pray with us tomorrow evening. And then we'll be back on Monday for our prayer time together at nine o'clock. In Jesus' name, amen. Mm -hmm.